Hi, this is Uwe, Delta Golf 2, Yankee Charlie Bravo. I'm pleased to announce that there's a new WSATX 2.8 version available for download. This is a general availability release that uh, contains all the uh, proven and uh, stable developments from the previous 2.7.1 versions. Um, I thought it was time for a GA release because all these nice and great features are now so stable that it is really time for a GA re release. But this new 2.8.0 version does not only contain all the things you already know from the previous 2.7.1 development versions, but it also has a couple of new features, some important bug fixes and other enhancements. As um, we have now also the improved features also described in the user guide, I like to refer to that. Uh, if you uh, click on that or here under help to the local or online user gate guide, you are getting this here. And as you can see, there are now also the uh, WSJTX improved features in here. Uh, there is a new uh, section 16 where all these features are summarized and described. So in case anyone has a question on that, uh, don't uh, directly email me, but please check the user guide first. However, let's go in brief and very quickly through the uh, news of that uh, release because I think it's worth to be mentioned. First of all, I have uh, fixed two long-standing uh, flaws which were, I think, in all prior WSATX and WSATX releases and uh, them have uh, been recently discussed in uh, the various forums. One is about this um, incon inconsistency of frequencies. Uh, when you, um, for example, uh, clicked on a no new band, everything was fine. But if you, for example, then here went to a de-expedition uh, frequency, either here by right-clicking or just uh, typing the new frequency in here or, so, or the like, then the um, frequency kilohertz string reported also to PSK reporter and also written to the all txt log file state with the band mode default frequency um, which uh, is not that good because if then here for example there would be a de-expedition you would automatically post these frequencies to PSK reporter and consequently there was a wrong were wrong frequencies from time to time uh, spotted there. This is now corrected here. And also there was a long-standing flare in our code that under certain conditions uh, here these two brackets occurred for combined messages. I mean we all know that if the uh, hash values uh, have not yet been resolved um, then, uh, or unhashed, then uh, you see these uh, brackets but with three dots in between. But um, it also occurred that uh, under certain con conditions and circumstances uh, it uh, was only printed the brackets and that was of course not correct. It was a uh, bug deep within the Fortran code of all of our versions. Uh, I found and fixed it. So this is the first release where these two uh, yeah, bugs have now been fixed. Yeah, and there's also a new great feature. It is about OpenSSL. This WSATX improved 2.8 release is the first one which should now really work out of the box. Meaning if you install the program on a new computer or for the first time, uh, you should no longer uh, have to uh, install manually OpenSSL. This is only required when there is already another not 
uh, another open SSL version on your computer which is not compliant to these uh, Qt uh, installations. But uh, unless uh, you have such an incompatible uh, version installed, it should now really work out of the box. I think this is a great help for some OMs who are not that familiar with computer stuff, computer issues. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. Yeah, then we have some uh, great uh, new things for EME operations. Uh, first, something added to the astronomical data window. But now um, a word first. Uh, it is now possible to uh, decode um, Q65 submodes 15 signals, so concrete 15A, 15B, 15C with EME delay. And I'm yeah, happy to announce that the first Q65 15A EME QSO took place uh, a couple of uh, days ago and it went smoothly. So this is the first version which is uh, able of doing that. Yeah, then there are some minor things, uh, some improvements to Fox operators here. One also uh, thing which was uh, requested by some OMs. The, the green gold posts, uh, gold post color here, uh, when there is the uh, light uh, uh, style enabled, we have it here, this uh, proven a little bit darker green. However, it was not that well readable here with the dark style. I set it now here to the same green color as uh, we are using here for the bars. Uh, this is a small improvement, however, if you are perhaps affected by a color blindness, a red green color blindness, this uh, might help you. And there's a couple of other things. For example, there is a new quick filter category um, here. Uh, ignore stations worked before on band. Uh, I thought this category was missing. So that we have now for all, um, for both uh, height and ignore and also highlight these three categories work before on band, work today or yesterday, which is uh, useful if you are working, uh, yeah, participating in a contest or from the ignore list, which could also make sense. Uh, yeah, then a couple of other minor things, uh, for example, that the alert sounds are now muted. Uh, when the cosine is um, on one of the ignore lists or uh, the quick filter uh, is on the ignore list or um, one of the ignore uh, checkboxes here from the three categories um, uh, have been checked, then now the um, audio alerts are now also muted. Yeah, you can read through it and uh, as said already, um, read the user guide, you find there some more explanations. Uh, to, yours, to those of you who are coming directly from WSJTX 2.7 or perhaps even 2.6.1, again my recommendation, upgrade to WSJTX improved to 8.0, which is now really the best version, version you can get in the world. And to those who are directly upgrading from uh, the standard WSJTX, I'd like to emphasize again that this program is fully compatible with it. And uh, I like also mention, to mention these uh, yeah, great uh, features uh, of WSJTX improved, such as high DPA scaling, meaning if you have uh, a 4K monitor or so, um, WSJTX Improved is the only program which is able to scale the GUI proportions to that. So it supports uh, the Windows scaling function. And um, then the weight features, we have here these uh, optional band buttons. If you don't like it, just uh, unclick it, uncheck it here and uh, they uh, disappear or reappear again if you check it. So if you don't like the extra features, you can also disable them and you have more or less the same as what you get with the standard WSJTX, of course, with much more under the hood. Then there is, of course, still the uh, TCI support. Uh, this uh, version has the proven TCI 74 code. So 
everything uh, should still work with it. Uh, this is also, we have also here in the improved versions, as you know, the full duplex mode uh, option, uh, which is a great help for satellite operation. And we have the built-in audio alerts and so on and so on. Yeah, and last not least, in case uh, you have some troubles with the new uh, Hemlipe version, which is always coming with such a new release, I like to highlight these two documents again here, this one in English and this one even in German. And um, it is also available here from the um, help menu, how to deal with recontrol errors if you click on that you will get this document where you see a step-by-step -step approach which you should do um, to fix such possible issues. Yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoy the new version and uh, see you on the bands. 73, this was Delta Call 2, Yankee Charlie Bravo.